Hi. Today sees three highly anticipated parliamentary by-elections, all in conservative constituencies. Despite huge majorities in the two rural constituencies, along with the seat of the former PM, remember him, in Oxbridge, West London, it's confidently predicted the Tories will lose them. There's only two things of interest here. First of all, how many people will actually vote? It looks rather than switching votes to the other parties, the mass ranks of Tory voters will stay away from the polls, voting with their rumps. That alone will deliver the seats to opposition parties. Secondly, the amount of votes for small parties and independence game, which I think will be very few. Selby and Ainsley and the former Yorkshire Socialist Republic will have two right-wing pseudo-populist parties standing, Reform and Heritage. In Summer and Froome, the capped off in West Country, Reform and the once mighty UKIP will both be standing and losing their deposits. Their voters will be measured in the hundreds rather than the thousands. Oxbridge will be the highest profile contest with a plethora of candidates including at least officially two Looney Tunes wannabes. Piers Corbyn is standing for some two man and a dog outfit Let London Live with a gibbering deranged Lawrence Fox's big debut for Reclaim Party. Watch him go down like a lead balloon. All these contenders will lose their deposits Despite the never-ending drift to the right, these right-wing groups, at the moment, will fail to gain any electoral traction. For them, it's joke votes gained rather than protest votes. Will the official loonies, including Count Binface, beat UKIP in Uxbridge? And that's where the main betting interest lays. Anarcho malcontents should always take an interest in these bourgeois elections the results being an indication of what horrors we'll be facing in the future, what we will be opposing, hopefully attempting to overthrow once we finally hit the streets, the only political forum the working class and disenfranchised really have. Bye.